right, I'm going to do this um, video to help you simplify expressions that have um, parentheses and um, multiplication and a bunch of ton of things going on. The one thing I will say that the big mistake that students make with something like this is they think that there's an equal sign there and they try to like subtract things from both sides or add things to both sides. And you have to recognize here that there is no equal sign. This is not an equation. We're not solving for X and, the, I, the, and, and we're not gonna get like X equals five as the, as the answer here. We're the best hope here because all we're doing is simplifying this is just putting it in a little simpler form that like maybe we'll end up with like 5x plus seven or something, you know, we're gonna end up with an algebraic expression as our final answer here, okay? So that's the big thing. You have to start asking yourself, is there an equal sign? Because if there's not, then we're, you know, we're not, don't have to solve for, e, for x. So the biggest thing is here, we can get rid of these parentheses by distributing that number that we're multiplying by on the outside. So negative four times X is negative four X. And then negative four times two, negative two is positive eight. And then now you have to understand here that like um, we could interpret this in two ways. We could say this is plus and we are subtracting because so the expression says, you know, negative four X times X minus two minus all this stuff, right? So I could say I'm, subtracting all that stuff, or I could say I'm adding, and then I can make this um, one half a negative, a negative one half. And I'm gonna prefer to do it that way. That's the same like, right, if I'm taking five minus two, I could do five plus a negative two. My answer is the same way, making that subtraction into an addition and then making the sign of the, the number that's following it. Um, the opposite in sign. We can do that here. So that is definitely what we're going to do. So <clears throat> like make sure, let's do it one more time. So we see minus a one half times all that stuff, but I'm gonna make this an addition problem and I'm gonna make this a negative one half, okay? The mistake that I see students do um, with this type of problem is they they do accidentally do both. They, they we have only one negative sign here. So we can either apply this as like negative one half times by negative 10, which would be positive, and then negative one half times by negative 10 and but should be positive. We could apply that negative sign when we distribute, okay, which is what I'm gonna do. Or you could you could distribute a positive one half and then distribute a negative sign to all of those answers, okay? You could do either way, but the one way that you cannot do it is that, that students make mistakes with is they, <clears throat> they distribute a negative one half, but then they also keep that another, they also make everything negative later like there's still a negative, they do it as if there's still a negative sign out here. And so that's the way we can't do it, okay? There's one negative sign, I can either distribute it, you know, when I distribute the one half, or I can leave it and distribute it later. But I can't distribute it later and distribute it now. You know, that's like eating your cake and having your cake and eating it too. There's only one negative sign. So there we have to can only use it once, okay? So, I'm going to use it like I'm going to um, distribute a negative one half to all this stuff. So negative one half times negative 10. Well, negative times negative is going to be positive. So it'll be positive 10x over 2. And then negative one half times negative 10 is going to be a ne positive as well, but positive just 10 over 2. And so this will simplify negative 4x plus 8 plus 5, the 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then plus 5, 5x, and plus 5. And then I combine like terms here. So it's negative 4 plus positive 5 is positive 1x plus 13. So it's x plus 13. And there we go. There's our final answer here.
So, um, yeah, I think the way I did it is much better. Like you, when you, when um, you just apply the negative sign to whatever the number is here after, and then, and then distribute it. That way you just, we just do it right away and we get it done with. So we don't have to um, worry about, you know, having to distribute it else also later. All right. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.